this thing is like just a flying camera. I mean, it's just a flying digital video system at this point in time. I mean, look at that. So this is the HD Zero, the Runcam uh, Nano 90. And I'm about to go and fly this um, on 90 frames per second. Let's see if I can squeal like a um, Bardwell when he flew his. Quad 66. Um, let's just double check it here. Got my video mode down there. 540, 90 frames per second. Alright, let's see what this does for us. A whole lot of um, lens stuff going on. Oh boy. Look at that. It's like Warped World, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, jeez. Well, okay. That's smooth, though. Man, that warping, though. Um, got used to those other cameras. Uh, let's see what I think about the weight. So punch is okay. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I'm having that Bardwell reaction. Oh jeez. I don't think I'm getting along with the warping here quite as well. Let me go grab that. Alright, try number dose. Um, let's finish this pack out. Man, look at that working. It's like being in a fun house. Jeez. Oh. Uh, I think it's going to take me a minute. Um. I mean, it is super smooth. It's like super, super smooth. Um. That's for sure. That's really cool, but, man, I don't know if this lens is for me. Let me put in another battery, um, give this another shot. Yeah, I just, I don't know if that lens is for me. Fresh battery. I'm going to try and do my best here. Just go ahead and fly this and see what we can do with it. Try not to overthink it. Just do my thing. Oh, oh. Not enough punch. There's enough punch. Oh. Yeah, stuff's just coming up at me. Um, in ways I'm not expecting because the... And I think that's just the lens. The smoothness is really cool, but I'm by no means. Oh man, I don't know about that. This legitimately smooth. But. I don't know, my, um, my sort of ability to come in here and pick up my reference points 
just feels funny. Um, and I think it's just the, the warping. I mean, I don't know if you're seeing that, but I'm, I'm just struggling with that. And that's making it hard for me to really get this, I think, a fair shake. The smoothness is really cool, though. Um, I'm trying to kind of just work my way around the warping. Yeah, I mean, the, the 90 frames per second, that's pretty cool. Um, it just feels like um, more lifelike. Uh, uninterrupted, that's what it feels like. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, I think I can get, man, that warping though. That really throws me off. Um, so, I think it's one of those things, what you, your brain can do, and, Awful lot. Oh, nope, that's problems. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to take off. Let me grab that. Let's see, we really got flight time. I still got a little bit left. So, I was starting to say, um, your brain can do an awful lot of compensation and Let me change out this battery. I'll do one more battery. Let's go ahead and land this. Grab one more battery. Okay, this is the last battery I have charged. Um, I was going to do this back to back with the analog quad, um, but I was trying to do that earlier and uh, knocked, crashed it, knocked the wire off. But one of the things with the uh, when I did that. So I was flying on the regular uh, nano light camera and then I flew the analog uh, twin build and it was kind of shocking how much difference the weight made. Um, you know this is it's just something I've known for a while or learned a while back is that just the weight matters. It just does and there's no getting around it. So clearly this quad is going to do something that, you know, the analog quad just simply can't, uh, which is at 90 frames per second. And it's really a really interesting um, experience, just how smooth and continuous the flow feels. I mean, you're not, I'm sure you're not going to see this in YouTube because the YouTube's not going to give you the 90 frames per second. But this is just something it's an experience you're just not going to get. The same is true for that really lightweight analog quad. That's going to give you an experience that this quad is never going to give you with, you know, that super lightweight. And for example, um, right there, I might have like, uh, I don't know, with 90 frames per second, I was able to pick up that little uh, heading straight for the wall kind of situation and correct it out of it. Um, but that's a little hard to say though, because you're not, you know, you're not flying to these quads at the same time. So kind of just checking, you know, my own like sort of like uh, breathing and heart, kind of like what I feel. Um, I I don't feel as relaxed as I do on the uh, on the analog. Uh, this is so smooth, though. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. They're just they're two different two different things, two different beasts. Um, they're just two different beasts.
I guess I'm glad I have them both at the end of the day. I don't know if this is daily driver though. Um, you know, struggling to get three minutes out of this pack. And it was pretty tame, pretty chill, sort of three minutes. Well, wow. that's that's my impression of it. Um, I feel like I'm more used to the camera now, but it's it's a different experience. And if that's what you're looking for, um, I don't think you're going to get that anywhere else. All right, so. That was my first impressions at 90 frames per second. Um, it's a, you know, I honestly, I feel like, um, so th those were my true reactions. Um, I honestly feel like I'm trying to find, find good things to say about it. Uh, that smoothness is really impressive, but this thing just weighs a lot in this particular build. So I think this is totally different. So, you know, um, I'm flying it. This is a little 2.5 inch, you know, 1104 is flying on uh, 552S. Um, I think this build is just tipping over the edge on the weight, and then the this lens just isn't helping me. In in these kinds of spaces, um, I need consistent lenses, and for whatever reason, um, the Cadex Ant Light and that uh, Run Cam, uh, the HD Zero uh, Nano Light camera. They, they have a similar sort of feel to them. Um, I feel like I can pick up my landmarks the same with them. This 90 camera um, has, is doing something very different where I feel like I'm getting a lot of warping. Now, in the middle of the picture, that's fine. And, and I think if you're kind of picking up um, uh, things you're looking, I don't, I don't know, maybe there, there's some, if I just flew it more, maybe I just wouldn't notice that as much. Um, or you're flying a different scenario, I just, you, you won't notice it as much. And it's, that 90 frames per second is just, it's really cool. It's a really sweet, you know, smooth feeling. Um, and it's really novel. And I, I haven't experienced anything like it. But at the end of the day, I'm not sure this is the quad I want to pick up and fly day in, day out. And I think, you know, the two issues on it are, one, that lens warping. And then, two, I think this quad is really getting to its weight limit. Um, all up weight that I was flying there. Let's get my scale teared up here. So all up weight on that ninety four point four grams versus um, my analog build, same battery and everything, same essentially same build just with analog, 82.2. So uh, 12 gram difference between the quads. So percentage wise, that doesn't sound like a ton. That's like maybe like 10, 15% um, weight difference. But I want you to listen to my reaction when I picked this quad up again. So I was flying earlier today and I was actually just testing out um, turning off the, so my TBS module on, it was introducing a lot of noise um, into my video feed. And so I was actually just testing, having that muted to check the, um, check the sound quality. So this isn't, I wasn't intending like to grab this video and, and show people, but I think it's really illustrative that this was my true initial reaction, having not flown this quad after having flown the HD zero a couple times. So let's cut over to that. All right, let's do an analog test record here. See if we, in fact, got rid of the sound problem. Just testing out the audio here. Man, this thing... Wow. You know, weight makes a difference. Jeez. It looks like garbage, but... Man, that thing is lively. It's interesting, it's lively, but so, um, so manageable. 
Really fascinating. Okay, so that was my um, impression there. And for me, when I fly, like the performance, I, I, I think I feel, I don't know. I feel like I feel, does this make sense? I feel more in the sticks than, to me it's more in the sticks than the eyeballs, if that makes any sense. I think, I think your brain is just capable of doing enough to, to give yourself that immersive sense where, yeah, this, this little analog camera, um, the video out of this, it looks like garbage. And in fact, this particular lens has a nice little scrape. You can probably see it right there. And so you got a big old smudge across it. But despite that, it just feels super lively. And it feels super lively and easy to fly versus when I'm flying the full 90 here. Um, to me, I felt like my, my heart rate was up. Um, I just felt tense. And obviously, you know, that would get better the more I flow it. Um, but, I, you know, with, with my analog build, um, I can just jump back to it. I don't have to fly it day in, day out. I can just jump back to it after a long time off. And I, I grab this and I'm just like, ah, here we go. Let me fling this thing around. It just, it feels comfortable. For me, it's just working really well. Now, I, I, that's not to dissuade you from HD0 because um, if what you're looking for is this really crazy smooth video, yeah, this, you know, the HD0 delivers 100% on that. I do hope that they come up with some different options on the lenses for this camera, because um, I'd like something that gives me a little flatter, straighter lines um, so I can pick up my, um, pick up my marks a little bit better. And then otherwise, you know, I, I think the thing to do is just put this camera, um, put this system on a slightly bigger quad. Uh, with the nano light camera, it's you know very trace difference in weight, but um, there's enough there where I think even that slight weight difference. Just because this quad is so on the edge of the weight, where the, you have like room. So if you're in the sweet spot, you've got room. You can add five grams, take away five grams, and quad flies fine. You start to get to the edge of the weight envelope, and then you add two grams, and it's like, what the heck happened to the quad? It just it's, it's crazy. Um, once you get to that edge, um, it, the quad just becomes really sensitive to weight. And I think that's where this one is at, where it's really just on that edge. And putting those things together, that was my honest um, first response. Uh, I did not squeal like a Bardwell. Which, uh, um, I, I kind of feel bad. Like, I, I don't know. I'm sort of a, I want to be more of an HD0 uh, cheerleader. <laughs> Especially, I've been spending so much time on these frames, um, but that was my take on it. Um, I, I think I might actually like the nanolight camera better, but we'll give it some more time and see what happens. All right, till next time, cheers.